And now, stand by for adventure. Three, two, one. In the exciting story of... Test of Friendship. Ordinarily, Squeak the Puppet and Scratch the Caveman were the very best of friends. It was Scratch who had carved Squeak's favorite toy, a wonderful wooden hobby horse. And Squeak was forever surprising his caveman buddy with a scrumptious coconut pie. Together, as space deputies in Colonel Bleep's scooter squadron, they shared many thrilling adventures as they fought to maintain right and justice throughout the vast galaxies of the universe. Yes, Squeak and Scratch were more than just good friends. They were almost like brothers. Until today, like a bolt from the blue, the Daily Mail rocket arrived with a special delivery message from the Futurian High Command. A message which threatened to shatter forever this wonderful friendship. To Colonel Bleep, Commander Zero Zero Island. Squeak and Scratch are tied for award as Space Deputy of the Year. You must choose the winner by dawn tomorrow. Space Deputy of the Year? This is important, for the one cadet chosen each year wins his own personal merit flag to prove that he is the finest Space Deputy of them all. There is no friendship now. Squeak knows if it wasn't for Scratch, the winner's flag would be his. And the caveman knows only Squeak stands in the way of his victory. This is the showdown. There can be only one winner, and it's gonna be me. For the rest of the day, neither the puppet nor the caveman have one single word to say to one another. That night, little Squeak lay awake, recalling his many adventures of the past year. There was that time on Jupiter's 12th moon when he and Bleep were captured by Dr. Destructo's giant vampire bat. But wait, it was Scratch and his mighty super bird who saved them from a terrible fate. Oh well, what about the time he was frozen in solid ice by the terrible ice demons of Saturn? Why again, it was Scratch who came to the rescue with an army of marching penguins. And when Black Patch forced him to walk the plank, it was Scratch who routed the pirate band with a pilgrim blunderbuss. Maybe Scratch is the one who deserves to win the merit flag after all. Meanwhile, in his darkened cave, Scratch is thinking of his year's adventures. Could he ever forget the time he was swallowed alive by a giant sea serpent? Say, come to think of it, it was little Squeak who was first to the rescue. And that day on the moon when the caveman slipped and fell from Destructo's giant observation tower. Who saved him then? Why, his puppet pal. And who could have shown more courage and valor than little Squeak? when he faced the powerful Black Knight alone on the field of battle. It was hard to believe, but perhaps Squeak should be chosen Space Deputy of the Year. At dawn the next morning, Bleep found two letters under his door. One from Squeak and one from Scratch. The puppet had written, Scratch deserves to win. And the caveman had written, Squeak deserves to win. It's time to announce the winner. Squeak and Scratch snap to attention. Then, the space cadets blink in surprise. For instead of a name on the flag of honor, there is only a huge letter S. But does this initial S stand for Squeak or Scratch? No one knows, not even Colonel Bleep. For how could anyone choose just one winner from two such brave and unselfish cadets?
And so it was that the caveman and the puppet shared the winner's flag. And once again, Squeak and Scratch were more than just good friends. They were 